Hello! Welcome to your third video for Foundations and Formations of Government. Today we want to talk about some constitutions. Um, so when you think about the Constitution, most of the time you think of the Constitution, you know, the American Constitution. Uh, but I don't want you to think about constitutions as being just one specific thing in America. A constitution is a document that sets up government, okay? So just like you made in your projects, a constitution is going to include um, how the government is set up. It's gonna tell me you know, that you have a king and a queen and then you have a legislative branch or in our situation in America, uh, we have a legislative branch, an executive branch and a judicial branch. And it also, in our constitution, uh, describes limits that are placed upon those branches, et cetera. So a constitution in general um, is just basically going to be a document that lines out how the government's set up. It's also going to tell um, to tell the reader about limits that are placed on those uh, that specific government. And it's also probably going to somehow list rights of the people. So what is the constitution? Notice here that I gave you a, um, a capital C. Whoops. Uh, that'll tell you that we're talking about our constitution in America. So our constitution today um, actually includes three different sections. We have the first section, which is the preamble, and that starts off with we the people, and it tells the story of why we're creating our constitution. Uh, the next part of our constitution includes the seven articles, and we'll spend a lot of time talking about those articles and what they do and, and how important they are when we get to our constitution unit. And then the last part of our Constitution is the amendments. And we actually have 27 amendments to our Constitution. And those are basically just changes or additions that we thought we needed to have over time. Uh, the most important of those amendments are the first 10, and those are the Bill of Rights. And again, we'll spend a lot of time talking about that um, as we get to the Constitution unit. So uh, point three here, constitutional governments versus governments with a Constitution that kind of sounds like the same thing, right? Well, a constitutional government is going to be a government that is limited, okay? So the constitution, in addition to describing how the government's gonna set up, also sets out limits for the for like for the government, okay? So our president, there are certain things that he can't do. Uh, there are certain things that the legislative branch can't do and the judicial branch. And we have checks and balances and separation of powers and all that great stuff, okay? So we are a constitutional government. Now, there are some countries that have governments with a constitution, okay? So basically, their constitution just sets out how their government is going to be created. Um, maybe says, okay, we're going to have a dictator, and that dictator can choose basically whomever he wants to do whatever they want, okay? So basically, a constitution, a government with a constitution doesn't have a limited ruler, okay? So if you guys have any questions, let me know.